Hey guys, welcome back to Ravenhawk Tech. So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and continue where I left off. We're gonna go ahead and go into Windows. I'm gonna show you where we made the change. Uh, you saw where I reset the drive size to something smaller, but it didn't exactly go as expected and you'll see that in a minute here. Uh, also, I'm gonna slaughter your name. I am so sorry in advance, but Danilo Souza? Danella Souza, I think. Uh, the same steps should work in Windows 10. A little different, but um, the configs are mostly the same. I happen to have been working with a Windows 7 machine because uh, I was building a computer for my neighbor's son and I had an upgrade edition of Windows 10. So I was building his Windows 7 box and I was gonna then upgrade it to Windows 10. Um, just so happened to be that the terabyte drive that I had was acting up so I was like well you know perfect opportunity let's record a video <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, if you're not already and you'd like to be please make sure to hit the subscribe button there is a bell notification uh, excuse me I can't talk there's a bell down there that'll let you know whenever I post I'm hoping to get a little more consistent on my posting schedule um, but yeah hey I hope you guys enjoy there's a like button if you did. There's a dislike button if you didn't. That lets me know whether or not you like this content and I can adjust my stuff that I'm posting. All right, and also leave comments. That'll help me. I can help you either way. All right, guys. In case you were wondering my marvelous setup here for recording. <laughs> hey, it's a little bit MacGyver. So let's go ahead and start up the computer here. Uh, let's see, starting up Windows. I'm going to skip it a little bit here and there just to get you on into where we need to be. Do, 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 do. Come on. Come on. Skip, skip, skippity skip. All right, we're going to go to the system manager here. Uh, not the explorer. Let's go to system manager. It's a slower computer. All right, and you're going to notice that it's showing up that 384 approximate drive size that I set it to and not the full uh, 400 and something that should be remaining from the 500 gig drive. So needless to say, not very good, not very good at all. So let's go ahead and reboot into Ubuntu and let's see if we can fix it. But first I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of just showing you that reset, refreshing and recycling is not going to fix anything here. Now I'm sure you could do a check disk and it possibly would fix something here, but just in case, I mean, I did a regular reboot and I didn't have it in the video here, Windows check disk didn't find anything. So this is why I decided to go back to Ubuntu, go back into Gparted, love this little tool. And you'll notice a nice little explanation, explanation, I can't say the word, little error notification. And that is telling you that the drive size is not being reported correctly. And if you check the little error here, see the size is wrong. And then if you check the information on there, it says here that the drive size is not being reported correctly and to, it recommends running a check. And that's easy enough to go to partition, run check, hit apply, finish, let it do its thing. And huzzah! 
the error is gone. Now, let's go back and get back into Windows. This is what you didn't see the first time is it booted up into this the last time this didn't fix it so a regular Windows check disk wouldn't have fixed the issue in the first place which is why I went back to Ubuntu all right and let's check the drive size Huzzah! Now if you want to show up on our outros here and have yourself a really good time being uh, one of our favorite people in the universe and be a sponsor or uh, one of our patrons I should say you can join our patron page uh, information is here I think alright and it's also located down in the description Thanks, guys.